Thank you so much, all of you. I mean, this is just fascinating to me. And there's quite a few um, links with some of the things we've been discussing already in the conference. So I'll just um, tie, um, summarize um, the four key points, the four key linkages that I can see. So the first thing that Alex said was a lot, a lot of, what a lot of people have said across all the different countries, which is that when the COVID crisis kicks off, the leaders' support increases. They got all the focus on them. They get the airtime and it goes up. But what he did was cleverly was remind us that behind that, underneath that, and he, leading up to that, his support is not as strong, that there have been a number of weaknesses in his political marketing and his governance and so on. So that's something to bear in mind when we look at, obviously, what's happening at the moment with the election. And then, so that's really interesting. It's important warning for leaders. They need to be careful of not assuming that the poll support from COVID will last. Two, Anna made some really interesting points about Again, the lead up to the election that, you know, they're not getting the informal market intelligence data that you normally get from being out amongst voters. And that's really important. We always say that, yes, science is important. And yes, there should be really good, robust, objective market research. But still part of that, we also say, is the informal aspect is important. That's why we talk about listening. You know, it's not just a glib phrase. It's actually really important that people are out there listening. And then, of course, that building relationships with volunteers as well as voters hasn't happened. And so on top of that, then in the middle of the campaign, running the campaign under COVID, it, the usual tools aren't available. And then one thing that really struck me, because we had the same thing in New Zealand, was Trudeau hasn't got the same um, scope to be seen interacting with voters. Ardern also had that. Um, Ardern was lucky because she had a different situation, but they still had those, those weaknesses. And yes, from a brand personality point of view, they've got that competence from being behind the lectern and they've shown the leadership from a governing communication point of view but they're not showing that listening and interaction. They're not showing that communicating that market orientation. So that's a, a real issue. And then some of the, one key thing that Jamie said, I mean, there, there was so much that everybody said that was really good, but was that the Conservatives are focusing on putting forward their political product. Now that struck me as really interesting because some of the things we were talking about last night in the Australian session were that there's an absence of the political product in that people, voters are voting against a product rather than for, and parties are um, reducing their focus on policies that Paula Kinevney, who's head of the PSA political marketing group in the UK, um, posted an article today on how Labour have been told they need to have fewer policies in the UK. So it's really interesting. It sounds like the Conservatives have gone for completely different positioning, moved away from the negative attack on Justin, which makes sense, much more sensible than the opposition party we had in New Zealand, um, but also focusing on that political product. The question will be, will the leader brand not be important? Because all of our panels across all of the different countries we've discussed have said, no, the leader brand is really, really important. So that's a really interesting question. And last point is that in a crisis, running an election is really risky. Um, I don't know whether Trudeau team were aware of that because ultimately in a crisis, the, what the market wants changes. And I think they're a lot more volatile and therefore really understanding what the market wants and creating an effective strategy and creating a product to suit that is much harder. So they're gonna have to be really adaptive. So I think it's really, really interesting and really uncertain times.